Hi there, this is Mrs. E coming at you with a little tutorial on the basics of Edmodo. Now, we've been using Edmodo for a little bit, and some of you are getting used to it. Some of you are still having issues navigating it, so I wanted to make this little tutorial for you. So after you log in, this is your screen. This is my student account, so this is the student Mrs. E. And you're familiar with this screen. Again, it's kind of like Facebook with their little posts, except sometimes the posts are assignments, which we'll talk about in a second. Let's show you around a little bit. Obviously, this is the screen you've been working with the most so far. But look across the top here. you got some cool stuff. you got calendar. The calendar, if you look, every time I put in an assignment, it tells you when it is due. Okay, So you might want to check your calendar. Also, there's something here called direct. Okay, Direct are some direct posts. Okay, that will show you that. But really, I would look at everything, and then you can see what's due for you. Okay? So the grades, now I'm a member of two classes, this student is, because I teach two classes this year. Yours should only read one. Um, the grades, we're not going to use, like I told you guys before, the grade book is straight up points, and it doesn't have a whole lot of features, so I'm not going to use it. So don't, don't worry about grades. Don't worry if it says you have a pending grade. I'll never put scores in here. Okay? There's something called the library, which we're going to explore later. Obviously, home will take you home to this screen. Sa By the way, if you click on Edmodo, it'll take you to the same spot. And then there's your profile. Okay. Profile, activity, what you've done, all your posts and replies, all the groups. I, again, I belong to two groups. Okay. About, you can select how you like to learn. Okay what your career career goals are, feel free to fill any of this out. All right. Then if you go to account settings, here's where you can change your picture. Now you can actually upload a picture if you hit choose file or you can use one of their pictures and they have quite a few interesting little pictures here. All right. So you can choose any one of those. And then if you want to fill in your personal information feel free by the way, here's where you can change your password if you need to. You can change your password all on your own. Okay. So, if you want to have notifications, if you want to get texted every time I post an assignment, feel free to fill that out. <laughs> okay. So again, feel free to you know play around with your profile and explore this a little bit. Okay. So if you go back home, when you log in, first thing you should look at are your notifications. Do you have any late assignments? Do you have any alerts? Uh, new direct posts. Okay, so you can click on those. Oh, here are my late assignments. Okay, I have a new alert. Okay. Oh, my grades will be updated. Yep, there we go. Then one new direct post. Direct post means that's when I have actually talked to you alone. I have sent this post only to you. Only you and I can see it. Oh, look. Mrs. Engelbrecht wanted to tell me how awesome I was yet again. So that's pretty cool. So you should always click on your notifications. And again, you can click here to go home. Okay, so pay attention to your notifications. That's very, very important. So let's say you wanted to direct post me. You had a question to Mrs. E and you wanted to ask, but you didn't want the rest of the class to hear. So here's how you do it. Okay. You say, hey, Mrs. E, I think, oops, spelled that correctly, you are fabulous. Okay. So in here, in the send to, it says type the name of a group or a teacher. So you'll type, there you go, right here. See, that's not, don't do that, because that's the student me, okay, right there. And then you'll hit send, and you notice it won't pop up down here only to you, okay. That's between you and me right there. That's how you direct post. So if you don't feel comfortable emailing me, you can always direct post me that way. Okay, so right here, you can do latest posts, direct post, assignments by teachers, okay, here's the groups you're in. Etc. Etc. So this is the basics of the Edmodo screen. Feel free to get in here and play around with stuff. And if you have any questions, you can direct post me or you can email me. Thanks.